Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, I am cutting about 15 buckets of flowers, a small dinner party, and a gigantic bouquet, enormous bouquet, which I thought would be fun to make for you as a kind of super duper, enormous 30 stem challenge. Uh, so come along with me for the ride and we'll cut order by order until we're ready to make the bouquet at the end. Let's start with the roses. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Press the bell icon and I'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks I give you along the way are useful, you can always buy me a coffee or even better, join my club. And the link to club joining and coffee buying are in the blurb to all my clips. All right, on we go. And I'm starting off cutting roses for an order from my lovely friend and colleague, Caroline Redpath of Fleur Provocateur. If you're looking for very, very smart luxury wedding flowers in this neck of the woods, Caroline is your girl. Fleur Provocateur, I'll link her website in the blurb um, and you can have a look at the kind of things she does. And uh, she wants all these dark pink roses um, and all these hot pink roses and some of those purplish roses. So we'll start with her because the forecast is pouring with rain and I want to get the roses cut before that happens. Obviously when you're cutting roses it's very important that because you want to keep the cellulose drinking cells drinking as much as they can so it's important to cut at as sharp an angle as you can and then cut up the stem to increase the surface area of the cellulose drinking cells so that the rose will keep fresher for longer. You're welcome. Right, there are the roses for Fleur Provocateur. Let's get them back to the studio. Get the sun off their heads. Not that there's much sun today. It's nice and cool, hooray. Next up, 30 of these wonderful pink lavatera and and masses of long stems of these fabulous sweet peas. Don't be frightened to cut into your sweet pea plants to get more interest and more, just more of everything. I think I'm going to do a hundred of these. So that's all ready for Fleur Provocateur to pick up tomorrow morning. Now, I'm cutting 60 to a bucket. Cheerful, relatively short stems. They're all going in posy vases. <coughs> oh, tea cake. Uh, no foliage, because there's plenty of foliage in the garden of the lady who's organizing the party. It's all going in a marquee in the grounds of a school. So, um, I've brought this lot in because I think we're going to get the rain they've promised us. It's really important to stop and stare from time to time. Sometimes the perennials beds here look really quite herbaceous borderish. Right, the ball is cut. Cheerful mix, not too weddingy, but light enough to show up in a marquee at night. Very cheerful. On to the next one. And now we have, so I hope they meant it when they said bright for a wedding. As you can always add, I've put the white ami in. It's a great way to just calm it all down a little bit if they like, um, but otherwise it is very, very bright. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of fennel, which is another bright, zingy, yellowy green to go in there. There, I've added in the beautiful fennel over here tea cake and tucked in another handful of roses. I'm a great believer in charging bravely uh, because then you can afford to be generous. So I'm not cheap. My buckets are not cheap, but uh, they have a minimum of 50 stems, usually a good deal more because I've charged properly so I can enjoy myself and cut the best of the garden for each of my orders. Right, not finished yet. And on we go. 
125 stems for the dinner party posies and 100 stems for the big bouquet. First, wash your buckets. So good thing I keep an eye on my phone and uh, so on. Turns out the ball actually needs 10 buckets. So I'm quickly cutting another five buckets. Then I'll do the posies and the big bouquet. Hang on in there, everybody. It's a rip rollicking ride here in flower farming world. Hmm, nice. So now that we have 10 mixed buckets ready for the ball. I quick get on now, no hanging around. So at last I'm cutting these five posies and giant bouquet. And you see why I try and cut one commission at a time. And I try and make the commissions big enough to make it worthwhile cutting them one at a time because the brain ache of having to sort of design on the hoof while I'm cutting and remember my stem count so that I'm not over cutting. Sometimes just too much. Anyway, I am going to cut both of these at the same time because otherwise it really, it's too small a trolley load to not do that. I'm going to cut the big bouquet in fives or tens. The fives will only ever be little bits of detail. Basically, I'm cutting 10 stems of each variety for the bouquet because then I can look at the buckets and I can know that each variety represents 10 stems. So it's quick to be able to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh yes, there we are, we're at 100. Equally, the um, posies, which are a much more classic. So the posies are very creamy, white, classic, pale, very formal dinner party. And the big bouquet is kind of slightly funkier, slightly jolie led, more interesting possibly, uh, but not for a formal classic dinner party. One must work with what one's client would like. So um, for the dinner party, I'm either cutting in five, so there's one stem of whatever it is for the party. We're looking for masses of interest, lots of different varieties, but also a sort of formal feel. Um, so things like this brachyglottis here, uh, it's a lovely silvery leaf. It's sort of very calming background for what else is gonna go in the mix. And while the colors will be pale and interesting, I have cut three stems for each posy of lavender because it's perfectly in flower and it's so beautiful um and so in my mind i'm pretending that the lavender is silver in these white bouquet white posies anyway basically the enormous bouquet is a giant 30 stem challenge so if any of you want to follow on and do what i'm going to do and i will show you how i make it later a hundred stems is 33.3 stems times three so it is a giant 30 stem challenge so go for it and equally the dinner table five posies they will be 25 stems each so they're mini 30 stem challenges so either way have fun see if you can do a repeat pattern for the table centers or see if you can do something enormous and um, share what you do with me on your Instagram stories over the weekend and I'll pick them up and share some of them on my stories um, and always use the 30 stem challenge hashtag and tag me common farm flowers and then I'll see them right let's get cutting so those are the posies uh, that's 125 stems weirdly it looks less than the bouquet which is 100 stems but the stems with the bouquet are longer and heavier probably I've cut I mean the roses here are really just to give weight and there will set be a lovely scent of course but to stop it looking too grassy and then the grasses are there to stop it looking too rosy <laughs> so that's your 100 stem bouquet I quite like that mix it's kind of festivalish, and then 
the roses obviously are quite formal and then I have cut another 15 sweet peas which are, are in the studio and the formality here really comes from the variegated corners which is just the most useful thing but then there's a little informality from the Achillea more formality from the Verbena do you see and it's pale but there's a tiny bit of color just a tiny bit to stop it being to give it a little depth of field so it's time to close the gate go back to the studio and believe it or not treat myself to some lunch <laughs> and then we'll do some floristry after lunch come on let's go so five jar, jam jar posies coming up this is going to be this, <laughs> this is going to be the longest clip i've ever made anyway never mind um, and I'm going to do them on one of those speedy uppy things. So it'll go all quiet and you'll just get me going for a minute. Um, but the idea is that they're matching. So they've got almost identical step. They will, they will have an identical stem count and pretty much the same material. And the idea is that they look sort of formal. And although, comme d'habitude, they're going in jam jars, uh, they will be fat enough that you won't see that they're jam jars, really. Uh, and they'll look very nice on the formal table of my client, um, who also likes ribbon. So we'll do ribbon as well. Okay. That's a sweet little posy, 25 stems. I'm gonna tie it up and put it in its little jar. Um, the thing about making posies like this in jars is you can make the table as floriferous as you like. I'll show you an option later. But that's very sweet as a little table centre. Cut it off quite short. I will, they're being delivered tomorrow morning. So I will re snip the stems in the morning. So they will get shorter and they will go into clean jars tomorrow morning as well. But for the moment, voila la petite chose. Comme elle est belle, hein? So, five posies. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see how you can have them as a ribbon of flowers on the table. They are just the right height, so we can all talk to each other, elbow to fist. And so you can have a ribbon of flowers, but equally, you can split them, candlestick, bowl of something, salt and pepper, bottle of wine. So you can make the flowers go further by having them more spread out. But I have, personally, personally I love them when they're quite squished up together. These will be shorter tomorrow because I will cut them down before I deliver them. Um, and they will be in clean uh, vases. One more thing though, Fabrizio made these lovely meadow boxes and I think this is really, really fetching. So you can really contain them see the jars that's a thought isn't it just something different and these boxes took two minutes to put together with a drill and some two before anyway I've got to make this hundred stemmer because I've got a live at five for my YouTube club hello clubbers in half an hour so hurrying up 
So, to make a hundred stem bouquet, you'll need a hundred stems and a big vase and some raffia. I'm going to put it on the whizzer whizzer so it goes quickly and you'll see how I make it. So, as you can see, I have made three large-ish bouquets. They are 33, 34 and 37 stems each, which makes them slightly over 100. So this is how I make the giant bouquet. I tie them together. I lay one bunch over the other exactly as if I'm making a spiral bouquet, same process. And I tie them like a giant spiral bouquet. So have a go, I dare you, make yourself A super duper 30 stem challenge. It's a triple up, a triple deck 30 stem challenge. It's very good for your upper body strength. And then what you do, once, once you've made it, Look, I'll show you. This is, this is the thing I do on Instagram from time to time. And it goes like this. Sometimes you just need the florist for scale. And there you have an absolutely enormous 100 plus stem bouquet. Kind of hairy, sort of festivalish, but with the weight of the roses to give it some luxury put it back in the vase before it dies right that's got to stay there i'm going to deliver it afterwards but i now have a live at five with my lovely youtube clubbers hello the clubbers so thanks very much for coming along everybody hope you've enjoyed this <laughs> a bit of a crazy session um it's very long anyway thanks for coming and i'll see you all very soon bye bye gotta get on